the algorithm must and should you have to write which are the variables you are using for a linear search means one after the another all the elements are searching here whereas binary search we are dividing the entire array into two parts and then searching process will take place compare region always takes place between the middle element m represents the middle but here a of m represents the middle element here welcome back to one and all myself vasanta lecturer in computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysore today we have to start with the third session of data structure chapter whereas already in the previous class you have studied regarding what do you mean by non primitive data structure arrays list as well as operations on linear data structure calculating the length of an array then representation of one dimensional array in memory with that you have studied the basic operations on one dimensional array like traversing insertion deletion searching sorting with that you have studied the algorithm regarding the traversing whereas on today's class you will come to know regarding searching an element what do you mean by searching an element under that linear search as well as binary search with that algorithm for linear search as well as algorithm for binary search first of all what do you mean by searching which are the types of searching how the access will process here regarding that mainly you will come to know on this session first whereas searching is a process of finding the location of an element it refers to finding the location of a element in a linear array in any array in any conditions how elements are find how on which location the element is present when you come on searching there are two types of searching linear search binary search with that you may have several types of searching techniques also there like selection search like that but in your syllabus you have only linear search as well as binary search already you come to know that searching is a process of finding the location of the element in a linear array whereas linear search means one after the another all the elements are searching here whereas binary search we are dividing the entire array into two parts and then searching process will takes place first now we'll explain regarding linear search consider i'm going to give an example consider parents came to the college on that time the parents used to search the child whether son or daughter whoever may be for in the first room first they will check first candidate second candidate third candidate all the candidates one by one they will check then later on the parents used to move to the next class there also one by one all the candidates they will search then later on third room consider you have 10 rooms all the 10 rooms the parents start searching from the first room from the first candidate till the last candidate then it can be called as linear search one by one from the beginning till the end all the elements are searched until they get a particular element whereas linear search is the simplest method in which the element to be searched is compared with each element of the array one by one from the beginning till the end of the array consider we have the array elements here the elements for example 10 20 30 and then 40 i want to search for example the search element ele 30 first what i will do first i will search with the first element that is in first position then 1 2 3 first i am to compare the first element 10 with the search element if it is not matches then it will move to the next element then on that position 1 we have 20 that 20 is not equals to 30 once again it search with the next element then 30 equals 30 it means that searching process will takes place from the beginning one by one till the end now is it clear linear search is also called as sequential search because one after the another all the elements are searching here 
what is now already you come to know what do you mean by linear search one by one we'll search from the beginning till the end whereas this type of algorithm in the annual exam you will get for five marks it contains only four steps but you will get five marks for this algorithm before writing the algorithm which are the variables you are using that also have to mention whereas in this case we are using a is the name of the array with n elements it contains n number of elements by the name array name is a here and e and e is the element to be searched which element you are searching that represents e and e and loc is the location of the variable on which location that element is present to identify that we are using one more variable call it as loc now consider one array this is the array elements here in this array the position starts from 0 1 2 3 consider the search element 10 20 30 as well as 40 is the array element here i am to take the search element e l e is 30 for example first step if you observe the step 1 there location equals minus 1 first you have to consider because in the location at the end we want to mention where exactly the search element is present for the sake what you have to do before processing we have to take the location equals minus 1 behind this zero we have minus 1 before processing the location equals minus 1 you have to consider then in the step 2 start the processing for p equals 0 to n minus 1 we have to start processing from 0 then 1 2 3 that means up to the last one the last one can be got as n minus 1 here start processing here we are just mentioning from where it has to start here the process starts from for p equals 0 to n minus 1 the position starts from 0 to n minus 1 in the first case what you have to assume in the first case we have to assume the position is 0 first element the p represent the position first time we have assumed it as a 0 here then next after this what we will do we will take compare if a of p p represent the first element position a of p here that a of p that is a of 0 represent the value here that is 10 here if it is equals to search element if it is matches then no need to process otherwise if it is not matches once again it will go back to the loop once again everything will the loop will continue repeatedly here it is not matching then once again it has to search with the next element that is a of 1 that equals to 20 that also not equals to 30 then once again the process has to continue now that is a of 2 a of 2 value here we have 30 it is equals to the search element is it no it means that if a of p if it is equals to search element then the location will take p value here in the previous case the location is minus 1 we assumed now on the place of location it will take it as which position exactly the element is present then the location here we are going to get 2 here then the final conclusion what you have to write the search element 30 the search element 30 found in the location 2 it means that here if you observe location equals p whatever position here it is matches that we will move to location then go to step 3 then end of if loop whatever here if the condition we applied that inner loop will end then end of for loop then for loop also will go to end if location equals greater than or equals to 0 greater than or equals to 0 means the search element is present if the location is minus 1 only then the search element is not present that's why here if location is greater than or equals to 0 then it has to print the location where exactly the search element is present hence it has to print the search element is not found one more example i'm going to give you for example the search element if i'm going to give 30 then what happens first we'll search with the first element 
then 30 is not matches with your search element, then second element, here also it is not matching, then it will move to the third element, then also it will not matches, then it will check for a of 3, then here I am going to get 40, that is also not equals to 80. Then on that case, the location remains minus only. Once if it is matches, if it is matches, then only the location value will change us. Otherwise, the location value remains minus 1 only. In this case, if location is greater than or equals to 0, it means that the element may be present at 0 position 1, 2, 3. If the location is minus 1, it means that the search element is not present. Whereas in this case, the search element is not present because location remains minus 1 only. No element are matched. That's why location value remains minus 1 only. On that case, the search element is not present, not found. Like that, it has to display. This is a very, very important algorithm because this algorithm you may want to get for 5 marks, linear search algorithm. Right. We will move on. Binary search. What do you mean by this binary search? Binary search in this binary search the element of the array are in must and should be in sorted order it means that the main drawback of binary search itself the element must and should be arranged in some specific order here especially in ascending order only the element has to be arranged whereas in linear search there is no any conditions that element has to be arranged in some specific order whereas in here in binary search compulsory element has to be arranged in ascending order only. This method compares the search element with the middle element of the array. Always searching takes place with the middle element. First, it will divide the entire array elements into two parts. Then it will find the middle element and the comparison will take place with the middle element. If the comparison does not match, then the search is either at right off of the array or at left off of the array. If searching, consider this is the array element, it will make two parts. The comparison here it will take with the middle element. If it is not matches, it has to move left off of the array or right off of the array. Let B is the beginning and E is the end of the array. E of M is the middle element. To find the middle element, we have the formula that is integer part of beginning plus end divided by 2. If I am going to get, for example, 3.5, then we have to consider only 3. That's why here we are given int of, only we have to consider the integer part for the sake int of beginning plus end divided by 2. That we will show with some problems. Consider we have the array elements 12, 23, 29, 37, 45 and the search element is 37. Then in binary search, write on the array elements 12, 23, 29, 37, 45. Here the position 0, first element position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Whereas under that variables, first I will take the beginning equals 0 here, first one. Always it is 0. First position, this position is 0. Then, end represent the 4. And here, the middle can be identified by 0 plus 4 divided by 2. Then, this 2 represent the middle. First, what you have to do? First, you have to divide the entire equation, entire array elements into two parts. On that, first find the first, assume it as the first one is the beginning and the last one is end. Then find the middle. How to find the middle? Beginning plus end divided by 2. Then we will get the middle variable. Then that value equals to here middle. But comparison always takes place between the middle element. M represents the middle. But here A of M represents the middle element here. Then 29 if it is equals to 37 just need to identify. Here if it is not matching I get page number for example 29 but I want to search page number 37 then I have to move right side direction. If you want to move right side direction then some rules you have to follow only the beginning will change us. Only the beginning will change us to mid 
plus 1. If you want to move leftward direction, the only the end will change as that is end equals beginning. See here, here. If you want to perform right direction, only the beginning value will change as to mid plus 1. If you want to move to the end direction, especially leftward direction, then only the end will change as. Here in this case, if you observe here, on this case, what happens? I get page number, for example, 29, but I want to search page number 37. Then I have to move right side. While moving the right side, the beginning value only will change as to middle plus 1. Then previous case, the middle we are given as 2. Then now, middle plus 1, that is 3 here we are getting. That is the beginning. This 3 represents the middle. And 4 remains as it is. The end remains as it is. But here, find the middle. In the middle, we are get 3.5. Take down only the integer part. That is 3 only is the middle. Always you have to consider the beginning plus end. Whole thing divided by 2. On that case, only the integer part you have to consider. Here, the search element that is 37 is matches with your middle value. Now, it is middle element 37 is equals to 37. Therefore, the final conclusion you have to write. The search element, especially 37, is present in the location 3. Search element 37 found in the location 3. Now, is it clear? Now, I have to explain with some more problems. Consider the array elements here, 10, then next 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, then 55, then one more is 60. Their position y 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. First position I am going to consider as a beginning and the last position we have to consider it as an end. Now what is the beginning value here? The beginning represent 0 and end represent 8. Then find the middle. Middle equals beginning plus end divided by 2. Then we are going to get 4. 4 is the middle. Then this represents the middle. Whereas A of M. A of M that is equals to 40 is not matches with your search element. The search element we have 35. If you observe here, now in this case, elements are arranged in ascending order. And here I find the beginning and then end. Then later on I will find the mid. Comparison takes place with the middle element. But if you observe here, I get the value 40. But I want to search 35. Left side I have to move. If I want to move left side, then only the end will change us here. Only the end will change us. What exactly end will take? Whatever middle we have, minus 1, that is equals to m minus 1, that equals to 4 minus 1, here now 3. In the next iteration, in the second iteration, write down the value as it is, 10, 20, here we are 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, as well as 60. Then here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But here only the end value will change us. In the previous case, we have the end is 8, but now the end value 4 minus 1 here it will take. Now this represents the end value. And beginning remains as it is. Then when you take the middle value. Beginning here 0 only. The middle here it will take 3. 0 plus 3 divided by 2. That is 1.5 I am getting. 1.5 means this represents the middle. But the middle element. A of m value is 20. That is not equals to 35. See if you observe here. Once again I get the value here. Then what is the next step I have to do? Once again I have to do the process. Here once again consider the array elements. Here 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Position wise 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
if you observe here i get page number 20 but i want page number 35 then right side i have to move if you want to move right side what is the condition only the beginning will change us beginning equals mid plus one then in the previous case mid is one now mid beginning is two here then end remains as it is but here when i add three plus two divided by two then we are going to get 2.3 then this represents the middle once again comparison will take place between these two then also it is not matches then once again one more iterations it has to take on that iteration see in the last iteration what happens 10 20 30 35 40 45 then 50 55 then 60 in the next iteration this represents especially 35 represents especially here 2 represents the beginning and as well as middle then comparison will take place with the middle element now 35 equals 35 the search element then what is the final conclusion you can write the search element present in the location 3 you have to write now is it clear that means in this problems you have to go off of the array or right off of the array depending upon which value you are searching. Now I am to explain with algorithm how to perform that. Here also this algorithm you may going to get for 5 marks in the annual exam. Already I told you in the algorithm must and should you have to write which are the variables you are using. Whereas A is the sorted array with n elements and B is the beginning location and E is the end location of the array. E and E is the element to be searched and A of M represent the middle element of the array. Now first case if you observe the problem what I have done as first I have written beginning as well as end beginning 0 and end represents n minus 1 and the problem the last one represents n minus 1 while beginning is less than or equals to end till that the process has to be continued. On that case find the middle value that is mid equals integer part of beginning plus n divided by 2. If I am going to get 3.5 then I have to consider middle is 3 only. That is why I have written integer part of beginning plus n divided by 2. If search element if it is equals to A of mid then the M location has to move to LOC on which place wherever it is matches then the middle value middle position has to be moved to the location then else there yet process else go to step 4 that here if element is less than a of mid then end will change us to mid minus 1 else beginning will change us if you observe here if it is less than end will change us if I want to move to right side then beginning will change us that's why here end equals mid minus 1 else beginning equals mid plus 1. If you get if location is greater than or equals to 0 we have to print the location where exactly the search element is present. Else part the element is not found. You have to display. It means that on today's class you come to know what you mean by array with that searching process like linear search as well as binary search. Whereas in linear search, all the elements are searched one by one from the beginning till the end. Whereas in binary search, it will make two parts, one is beginning and one more is end. On that, it will find the middle and comparison will take place with the middle element of the array. If it is not matches with the middle element, then it has to move to, to the right off of the array or left off of the array. Now is it clear? Next class, I am going to explain regarding few another algorithms like what do you mean by binary search you have come to know then next class regarding array algorithms you will come to know thank you for all of you